Welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby, and this is Dungeon Munchies. It's another episode of Mom Impressions. We're checking out gameplay of a new release or soon to be released game, hopefully, letting you know if it's going to be worth your time and money. We're going to play the game for half an hour to an hour, and if we really like it, I'll recommend it. And if we really like it, we'll do a second playthrough and we'll keep going, but it will be on the secondary channel. So let's go. This is a cooking game. Came out on June 5th, early access. I don't know if I said that. Well, this thing says it. Let's get started. Dungeon Munchies. See, look at that. 0.01. And uh, come by the live streams. Link down below to the DLive and Twitch. So I switch back and forth at the moment. Question marks. Question mark. All right. Wait, did we just get revived? That's us, isn't it? Look at this. Would you look at this? Whoa, is this a fighting game? This is a fighting cooking game? Low. Ooh. I like this. E. Hi, I'm Matt, and I want to teach you about dungeon survival. If you're feeling really hungry now, don't worry. It's a very special feeling that grows inside every zombie when they come out of the ground. But over time, if you don't take care of that special feeling, it can cause serial organ failure. That's why you need to eat. I'm here now because I made a mistake and forgot to follow Simra's instructions. I wish I had listened better. Go and find food and take care of that special feeling. Don't be like Matt. Don't become a skeleton. What's that on the top left? I don't know. W. Nice plastic bag. Interdimensional pouch keeps your groceries fresh. Okay, tab. Ooh, here it is. Okay, tab opens that up. Okay, we're over here now. Can I open these up? Look at that. Left, right. So this is my right hand. This is my left hand. I can control them individually. Isn't that cool? I, it says W, but I can also press space. Shift to run. Oh, oh, it's a dodge. Ooh. Ooh, this game is interesting here. Hey, I'm Megan, and I also want to share my survival experience. Did you know that to many creatures, zombies are actually a healthy and delicious source of food? I didn't, and look what happened to me. This dungeon is full of creatures that discriminate against the undead. No one wants to share their food, and most creatures just want to eat me. I could try this again. I'd want to get a weapon, like a stick or something, to protect myself. Stick or something, huh? Why does that tree have a big donger? Oh, are you human? How interesting. <laughs> but I bet it's not as interesting as a big branch. Haha. <laughs> I've absorbed so many nutrients. Just check out how jacked this branch is. I'm gonna use it to beat you in a fertilizer. On guard. Uh oh, the tip. It's too heavy. It's gonna break. Arg. Ah! Did they deliberately make that a tree dick? All right, we got a basic melee weapon. All right, how you like that? It'll grow back. It'll grow back. That's hilarious. Ow! The hell? All right, we got some ingredients here. Blade grass. It's so sharp, you're worried it might cut the bag. Cool, blade grass. All right, we got another guy here. It's Brandon here with more of your top 10 hardest survival tips. But before that, I want to congratulate you for making it out here. Very few zombies have made it here in one piece. You could thank Simmer for putting you together so well. Anyways, to start off, we have Big Mozzies at number 10. Number 10. Number 15. If you're a zombie struggling, right? Uh, if you're a zombie suffering from debilitating hunger, you might want to try the local protein-rich delicacy. Big mozzies. They could taste like shrimp if you could imagine it. But watch out, because they need to be cooked. If you eat them raw, your stomach will fill with air and explode. Yikes. Ooh. Number 50, burger, burger. Oops. Okay, something about cook. Get that shit out of here. Is that it? Ooh. 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 This is a side scroller, dude. I didn't. I did not know. I mean, this is it's dungeon munchies, so I guess it's just a dungeon crawler, like like a two D dungeon crawler that's based on food, huh? That's cool. Maybe you have to hunt for food. All right, we're going down. Okay, so I'm a zombie. Usually, like I think this is like a Korean like lore zombie. 
Like a bong gun or Munak. Ragnarok. Pat. I like the graphics. All right, here we go. Whoa, is that a campfire? Ooh, is that Simmer? That's a good name. Whoa, Milady. After 10,000 years, I'm free. It's time to conquer Earth. Whoa. With a free lifelong premium subscription to Simmer's Cooking Lessons, satisfaction guaranteed, or double your money back. Uh, I've been looking for you all morning, boss. I just want to report that Tyler blew up the gas can canisters. Hey, I was in the middle of something. It's just Tyler. Can't you take care of it? Well, this is awkward. Let me get to the point. I'm your creator, Simmer the Necromancer. I need an apprentice who can inherit my culinary arts. But because there's kind of a shortage of skilled labor down there, I created you for the job. For example, do you know why you can't eat raw meat and mozzies? Because boom! All that wind magic's gonna blow your head up if you don't cook it properly. Is is possible. Ooh, a little misspelling there. Look at that. It is possible to learn this power and prepare magical dishes that are delicious and safe, you ask? Not from an amateur. That's why you'll need a limited edition hardcover copy of my introduction to magical cuisine. You've made it here, which means you're the smartest mommies so far. I'm sure you'll learn quickly. I need to step away for a bit to literally put some employees together. In the meantime, study that book and study it well. Bon appetit. Okay, what's this down here? Monka Giga? Alright, fried mosquito. You need three. Gives you wings for double jump. Cook. Oh, fried mosquito. Okay. I now have a double jump. Dang, what the hell? All right. Look, more stuff. Ooh, this is cool. Look at this. So it's, I think it's permanent. Because look, increases movement speed in water. So you have to do, this is a Metroidvania, but you cook to increase your amount of, like your, like your stats. Isn't that awesome? Bzzz. I like that a lot. Report on Dungeon Survival by Kyle. Sarah kept telling me to find a pot to cook with. I'm not sure what that entails. I was really hungry, so I ate those mosquitoes raw. Then I exploded. What a sucker. Alright, hold on. There was an extra area over here. Wait, what? What's this? I'm right-clicking. I don't know. Am I wasting something? Big mosquito. I don't know what this is. Maybe because I'm a mosquito, I have this ability now? I don't know what's happening, but I can throw stuff now. I'm not hitting him. Alright, whatever. Big branch, bitch! Let me grab another. I don't know if I need any more. But there was another thingy over here. Another area to jump. Let's go find it. I can't throw these in here. This game's interesting. I like it so far. Two, 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 two. Yeah! Kia! There you go, check it out. Woo! Yeah, it's like throwing something. Okay. Right here was the double jump area. Hadouk it! Ah! Oh, I can make it. Hop! Pop! Ooh! It's a secret. Don't tell anyone. Thanks for following, sir. Here's some stars for anyone who's hanging out lurking. Alright. Ooh, check it out. What is this? What is this? Am I supposed to be here? Wow. Jimbo's secret soup pot. An ancient legendary chef. Secret soup pot. Okay, well we don't know what that's supposed to do yet. Well, we'll see. Dude, we're gonna be a crazy abomination at the end of this game. But it's not a complete game, so we probably won't do a playthrough of it just yet. What the hell? I'm stuck! Better grab these. What? Took so much damage. Yeah, crap. Ooh, these things have a low, low freaking hit zone. Better be careful. Yeah. Ooh, look at all that. Mosquito. It doesn't even tell me how many I have. I should probably change that. Let me know how much I have. Remember, early access, man. Bzz, bzz. These things out of here. Yeah, they don't tell you how much you have. There's no music. Where'd the music go? 
Hmm. Oh, oops. Oh, look at that. You can choose how many you want. Oh. Wow. You got to choose your power lo lo layout, loadout, probably, huh? What's up, trees? Big dick? Trees? How you doing? Basic secondary weapon. Small branch. Can I equip that? This is basic secondary. It's a camp. Wow. Okay. Oh, this is where you change out your stuff. Big wooden rod. So you choose them to go in here. And a nut sack. Nut sack. Oh, I'm crafting. Wow, you craft items and you craft weapons and upgrades. That's cool. Melee attack with large blades. Ooh. Doesn't say like how you even like three range, ten points. Melee, melee, sword, range. Okay. So we have a blade now. And we're still using the stick. Oh, I can do double. Look. Kind of want to get some of this, though. Oh, I can do double, right? No. This doesn't let me. Hold on. Yeah, you have to get two different weapons. No, that's fine. This game's great. It's uh, pretty well. Working pretty well. I usually don't like the uh, super crazy pixels for indie games these days, but these are large enough pixels that I don't mind. This is a small note here for Simmer. Employee safety is at the utmost importance. When a worker dies on the job, they will be resurrected at the cost of the company. That way, all employees are empowered to work for eternity without a care in the world. So if I die, it's telling me I lose items here. And this is a recycle thing, which means it could be a checkpoint. Look at these jerks. Beep, beep, beep. So I'm like um I'm like a hunt mean fish. I'm like that one anime guy, Toriko. I hunt for fish. The best food across the land. I could probably already head back and level up. But it's cool. Where's the music? Look at this. Xbox or PlayStation. See language. Uh yeah, this game doesn't have a lot of sound. I'm gonna turn up as high as it can go. That's it. It's pretty low. Alright, let's keep going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful. Ooh, logs. Not edible. It might be useful for something. This is nice. This game plays pretty good. Get wrecked. My cooking bag. Wood mean fish. Ooh, new enemies. There's a piece of shit there. It's a piece of shit emoji. Can I pick those up? Ooh! Those bugs are treating me like crap. If only I had stayed together with my cone. <laughs> ah, thanks for helping with the bugs. I wish I had something to thank you with. If you could help me find my friend, I'll tell him we owe you one. I think I'm gonna just stay put. It's proven strategy for finding missing team members. Wow, so he's not a piece of shit. He's, a, he's an ice cream. Welcome to the official training camp. We've worked hard to prepare for you. Let's get oriented. Hosing down that rusty cart, crusty cart was the most work anyone's done this week. Don't mind the turd near the entrance. I'm talking about cleaning that soon. This dungeon is full of magical creatures. You'll get all sorts of magical powers when you eat them, but you'll probably die if you don't cook them. That's what, uh, let's see, season a big toad, eat a slime. Only way to know is to read the stuff. Hey man, welcome back. I gave you the first volume, but this isn't some kind of book giveaway. You have to work for the rest. But I believe in you. I can't wait to see you struggle through the challenges facing you. Don't get too cocky and start with the three basics. Monster hunting, ingredient collecting, and um, food cooking. <laughs> As your supervisor, I'll be working hard supervising you from here. I get to work. All right, I like this. This is cool. As the only platinum tier nationally accredited necromancer around, it's only natural for my employees to have the best benefits. You see, back in the day, I made a killing out of resurrecting overworked office supplies. Wait, I forgot to do something here. Wacka, 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 wacka. All right. That was my core value proposition. See that large recycle bin next to me? I've applied a fully automated corpse assembly spell 
on a bunch of these. Whenever you've been cut up or filleted, blended, or digested, the closest bin will collect your remains and quickly put you back to work. Cool. What's this? Oh, it's a place to cook. Okay, we can now cook this mean fish. Increases movement speed in the water by 50. And that's our loadout. You see here? My head's in the way. I have that other cook thing there. Snail meat, banana, shrimp claw. I mean, we'll collect whatever. We don't really need to look at this. Ooh! Jimbo's secret thing. Secrete a trail of electric mucus that inflicts eight points of damage. Cool. What's this? Oh, it's a fast travel, isn't it? Training camp. Dude, this is taking Dark Souls. See this cute little shrine? It's also, yep, 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 I got it. Yes, the spell, tear you to bits, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Ooh, what's the one this? Oh, the weapon stuff. A new weapon here. We got a secondary weapon. A secondary, huh? So melee and a secondary. Oh, it says on the top if it's going to be a secondary or not. Raise the shield to block attacks. I mean, we'll craft everything, right? Yeah, we'll craft everything. Craft. Blade, grass, short sword. Craft. Cool. I think we'll take the shield. Ooh, look, look, eat, look, we have a little fin now. God, this is cool. Oh yeah, what's up, dog? I'm Kamul, the weapon crafter. The boss created me to make weapons, but there's no one to make weapons for. I'm starting to have some serious existential concerns. Uh, okay. Why don't I give you my stuff on the truck? They're PVC displays. displays. <laughs> All right. How long does this last? Oh, look on the top up there. It gives me like a shield. Oh, that's good. This is a good quality game. I'm like, oh my god, it's pretty cool. Come on. Come on, bitches. Ooh, blocked. Parry that bitch. Dang. All right, cool. Got him. Oof, how's my David? Ease clap. That's what it is. Been waiting to stream all day. Got a big plan for today. We already did the first game. I got a green fruit. Block that shit. This game's great. I can see, I can definitely do a full playthrough of this, but we have to wait till it's actually done, right? Man, that sucks about playing early access games so early. You get burnt out, you know? They Are Billions is a game that's finally coming out with a campaign that I want to pick up. So we might play that. That comes out actually in uh, two weeks. In a week and a half. What the hell? Give me that bitch. Poof. It's like playing um, Maple Story. Maybe they got the idea from that. Eesh. Snail. Snail. Oh. Cool. Oh, where am I? Is there a map? I don't know. What's your big plan? You know, just to do stuff. Just sit here. The usual. The huge. Eesh, eesh. Big plan. Big day. Big games. Dude, they're clawing, clawing all over each other. Wait, they dropped two different items. They get a uh, shell and some meat. Cool. Do, do, do. Bzz, 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 bzz. Awesome. Alright, checkpoint. What's this? Oh, it's a fast travel shrine. Alright, we'll head back and see what we can craft, alright? Back to the training camp. <laughs> Did you see that? He got sliced up. He got sliced up. That's funny. Alright, here we go. First things first. Um, unleash an electrical discharge when attacked. Include inflicting 12 points. Awesome. Recover 3 HP every 10 seconds. That sounds really good. Guava juice. I love it. Alright, let's see what our character looks like now. Okay, we're glowing green bits for the guava juice. And it looks like we have an extra little purple butt. Alright, let's see what are the weapons we got. We now can do a main dagger weapon. Cool. Ooh, it inflicts bleeding and damage over 10 seconds. And then the other weapon is a better shield. Two second cooldown. One second cooldown. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Anyway. Oh, this dagger has like no freaking range. Interesting dagger. Alright, we'll go. We'll use it. 
Bzz. Ow. What the hell? There's an enemy that just spawned there. That's messed up. Oh, wait. We recover HP, though. It's not a problem. All right. Remember, 50% move speed in the water. Whoa. They weren't kidding. Look, he's, he's bleeding. He is bleeding. Can I keep chopping him up? What the hell? Ooh. All right. Wow. This, this, this. Chop them all up. Shrimp shell. Easy. Damn, we move faster in the water. Way faster. Ow. Bitch. All right, that's your snail hoe. Oh, the damage. No, we're fine. I want to go back in the water. It's my element. Look at this. So this is how you control and make a side scroller. It's very fast and quick. Shrimp claw. I think every time we get a new item, it shows up on the top right. What's this? Another fast travel already? That was quick. All right, let's head back then. Back to the training camp. That was like less than a minute away from the last one. All right, what do we got? We can now do increases maximum HP by 20. And inflict 15 points every four seconds on a melee attack. <laughs> Extra damage. We can only carry one more item on us. Oh my god, we look like a freaking menace. All right, new item here. Shrimp axe. Ooh. Click. We can't make the shield yet, huh? Oh, we can. Awesome. <laughs> so, axe is pure damage, huh? All right. To the shrimp pods. I like it. It's cool. It has great potential. Too many people are playing just a million, you know, triple A games these days. We got to go back to retro. We got to go back to indie games. Let's see what's going on. Big, big banana. Oh, shit. Filled with that sense of purpose and dissatisfaction. Yeah, sure they are. Oh. No, I was able to freaking put that thing down. The hell. What the? Another fast travel? Dude, are they joking? They need to fix their... Layout. It's a good idea, but my god, a whole freaking layout here. Additional three damage for every melee. That's the banana. Fried banana. Melee inflicts toad poison. 25 damage. I have to cook it, but I have to get rid of something here. We'll get rid of the movement speed in the water. I think I could recraft it anytime I want, maybe. Nice. Yeah, that's like too many. It's too many together. All right. Ooh, go up there. All right. Bring it on. We have poison. Oh, shit. Got the shield. I'm not afraid. New item. Squishy toad gland. I got freaking regen. I feel like maybe you're probably gaining stuff a little too fast. It's only been 20 minutes. And I've made like a million items. I think they should really slow it down more so you can appreciate like everything you make better. I don't know. It's just me. Like I'm already never going to be using an item that they gave me. Like you're pretty much throwing it away forever. They spent time to code it and make the make the graphic. It'll give you time to chill. Just go to like a, a little small dungeon section. You know. Too many people. They need a game director. I mean, they probably already do, but they probably haven't thought about that. What's this? Dragon Fruit Farm, 200 meters ahead. Not an invitation. Entry prohibited. Oh, is it now? These nuts are prohibited. Let's go. It was a cooking station here. I don't even need to go back. New weapon. This is a poison pouch. Sprays poison stuff. Cool. Yeah, I say it's like, it's, oh, oh, wow. What's this? That thing's giving me the middle finger. Dragon nut harving is strictly forbidden by order of Lord of the Forest. Oh, isn't it? Oh, hey! Another fool arrives to challenge the might of our great Lord, 
I'm afraid the only thing that awaits you is a painful demise. The Necro Chief, Necro Chef, fears our power. And nothing but her pawns. Sense nothing, how churlish and how fruitless. You are not fit to set foot in this forest. Every step you make is blasphemy to our sacred dirt. Return to her kitchen and never come back. Bitch. It's a boss battle? Dragon fruit orchard. Music? Hey, didn't I see this? Didn't you see the sign I made? The Lord Protector ordered me to protect the nuts. She also said that the Necro Chef can't have any. Are you working for her? She's only ever sent skeletons. Ah, uh, so much to think about. I just want to do my job and get my salary. Okay, if you don't get out of my sight, I'm gonna beat you up. And if you go anywhere else, I'm gonna kill you. Got it? Whoa. Oh, shit, look at this guy. I don't have a shield. I gotta play more safe. I gotta throw this crap on him. He's doing stuff. This is awesome. Okay, I'll warn you, dog. Cool. It's very, very, very like what I'm looking for. The controls are really good. Numbers popping up. Feels good. What the hell? This game's got style. I'll DPS this fool. He's got a million HP. What the hell? Oh, what? You do it. Oh, that's my chance. I gotta poison him. I'm just spamming my weapons, as you can see. This, 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 this. Ow. Oh, wow, this is great. Whoa, a special attack. Get out of the way. Wait, can I hit him? Am I getting messed up? I don't know how to deal with this. Hit him with that. Am I supposed to do something? I can hit him a little. Wow. He's not dead yet. Slice his ass. Wow, okay. Be cool. Oh. Never seen that attack before. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ouch. Okay. It's over, bitch. Nice. We got an achievement. Rainforest friendly, gluten free, ton ion enhanced. My gluten free forest, rainforest friendly, non ion enhanced nano stone armor. You broke it. I'm getting a big grumpy right now. Hoomph. But it's just a walk, so I shouldn't let it go. I guess I can't stop you from getting to the fruits. They also grow quickly, so maybe nobody will notice. For now, I'm gonna sit here and photosynthesize. Please don't bother me. Cool. Bother him. Do you like anime? The boss lent me a lot of DVDs. She said it helps with the boredom. But I'm a plant, and I don't really get animated humans. Oh, no, I wasn't gonna show you any. Just talking. This game's great. What's this in the background? Wow, this is TV. Cool. Whoa, hello. So this is your little brutish declaration of war. Very well. This will be your undoing, ape. The Lord Protector shall be informed of everything that has conspired. Those that trample on the force shall taste the cleansing. Yeah, yeah. What's this? Dragon fruit. Oh, fire energy. Hot, hot, hot. <gasps> Unlock new recipes. Whoa! You actually got to the orchard. That's crazy. Um, I was the one supervising you, so it's only natural that you're exceeding expectations. But don't get too full of yourself. Now that you've gotten this far, that stubborn little Lord of Forest will probably come after you. She's been a real nuisance by hoarding all the rare ingredients down here. She's just a spirit like me, but not all spirits are as nice as me. But enough about her. Did you know that this is the only place that dragon fruit can ever grow? Eating it makes you breathe fire. Looks cool on the outside, but third degree esophageal burns are no joke. Dragon fruit recipes are covered in the next volume of my recipe collection. I'll be checking on every now and then, so go out there and cake bit. Okay, we unlocked new recipes. Revealed culinary secrets from the Lohas Housing Project. Which means we now can do perform an upward slash attack, up plus attack. Stomping is full. Extra 15 melee, every three on melee, maximum HP, recover. Uh, electric discharge, get rid of that. 
Okay, we got a new attack. You've already eaten that. What the hell? What? I have no space here? Hold on. Cook. What the hell? Uh, did I delete something? I deleted something by accident, didn't I? Alright. Upwards attack. I'm doing up attack. It's not working. Up attack. Up attack. It's not doing it. Let me read it again. Um, sword types. I need a sword. This is an axe. What's this? Fiery shrimp weapon. I need a shrimp. Secondary weapon. It's a fire staff. Cool. Alright. What am I missing here? Shrimp claw. Well, let's, let's create the dagger. Short sword. That's a secondary item. Up sword. Ooh. Fire. 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 Alright. This is a good weapon. I think it's a good time to end it here. We're not really going through the whole thing. It's early access. This is just a small little preview. Game's great. Graphics are nice. Really good graphics, actually. Uh, music, it's barely even there. It's so low. Sounds or whatever, either. Uh, story's cool. I like it. The progression's good. The level designs are really lacking. We've only been playing for half an hour, and we've got, like, a lot of crap already. They should really spread it out a lot more. Get more, like, stuff going on. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Come by the live streams. There's a link down below. We're either doing DLive or Twitch right now. So, thanks for watching. And uh, good game, Dungeon Munchies. It's a weird name, but I'm glad I checked it out. See you guys next time.